What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be solving another question from second chapter of the Miriam textbook. And we know that we have the equal tensions T in the pulley cable, which is 400 Newton. And we need to express the, the resultant of these two tensions in vector notation on the pulley. And we need to determine the magnitude of the R. So, uh, before we start, we can see in the figure that we have the positive direction for an x and y, and let's call the r the x component of the r r x. And what we have in here, we have the x component of this t, which is in the x direction, and there is no y component, so we basically have t plus. And since it's a positive direction, we have a positive sign in here, and we also have the x component of the other t right here which will be t times cosine of 60 degrees. So we know our t is 400, so 400 plus 400 times cosine of 60, we know is one divided by two, and this is gonna give us 600 Newton for our Rx. And if we wanna find the y component of the, resu the resultant, so as I mentioned earlier, there is no y component for the t, at the bottom of the pulley but the other one which i'm showing in here has a positive y component and this time we will have t times sine of 60 degrees so this angle right here is 60 degrees and just to confirm if you want to find the sine of 60 degrees we will have the opposite which is the let's call it ty we'll have ty in here and this will be our tx sine of 60 will be the opposite which is ty over the hypotenuse which is t and from here we have to multiply these two so t times sine of 60 will be equal to ty times 1 and that's what we got in here and if we calculate ry what we get is 346.4 Newton. So if we want to write down our R in a vector notation, we will have 600i plus 346.4j and the unit will be Newton for both of them. And that was the first part of the question where we needed to find the R in vector notation and in the uh, second part we just need to find the magnitude which we can show it either like this or just r alone and we have this square root of rx squared plus ry squared and this would be basically the square root of 400 squared plus 346.4 squared and we need to keep this formula in our mind we'll have the same thing in three dimensional questions and in 3d question we, we only the only difference is that we have the rz component too so if we want to do the resultant we'll have rx squared plus ry squared plus rz squared so same formula and if we calculate well we uh, the final answer in here we'll get 692.8 newton and that would be the final answer for this question thanks for watching please let me know if you have any specific question from this specific problem or any other problem from the three textbooks that we are covering in this channel i'd be happy to cover uh, one video for that specific problem and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one